Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce to you a living legend of Lucha Libre. Please give a warm welcome to Vampiro! Is this on? Yeah. Um, how is everybody doing? I, I'll do my best not to take a lot of your time. Um, Talk as much as you want. Legends get as much time as they want. Have fun. Unless your name is Lord Roller. Yeah, okay. Well, um, again, I won't take much of your time. Um, but I, I just, I'm here for a reason. Uh, and then there's something that happened last night. Actually, yeah, it's been about 24 hours now that is, is, is extremely unfortunate, and I'm going to have to bring that up also. Uh, but I would like just to, to start by saying thank you and uh, how, how impressive and how blown away I am by this whole experience here today with what you all are doing in this club and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome and, and you guys, girls, everybody should give yourselves a very, very big round of applause. Um, the, uh, when, when um, that whole thing, you know, I, I hear it a lot and I, and I just don't understand it and I hear, you're a legend and all that kind of stuff. I ain't a legend. And anybody in this business or in this industry who says they're a legend needs to give their head a shake. Um, I'm just a guy who had a dream and I come from a small town and there was something inside of me that made me fight, 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 fight. And uh, I just never gave up and I was very fortunate. Uh, all the pieces came in to play at the same time. I was uh, a little bit emotional because I remember I guess it was the mid-80s, and I was growing up in Toronto. I used to live behind Maple Leaf Gardens. And um, I was working in the clubs and playing in bands and hustling and just trying to figure out what I was going to do. And, and I wrote about it today on Facebook. And I, I wrote about it because I saw this picture when I came in the bar. And um, I remember watching on Much Music, and they were talking about Mickey and Joey's. Nobody knows what Mickey and Joey's is. If you do, you're fucking older than I am, and you should give your head a shake and go home. But, um, Mickey and Joey's, it was this thing in, in Los Angeles. It was Mickey Rourke and Joey Giuseppe's. It was Giuseppe Franco, this hairstylist guy from New York, and they had this after-hours club. It's called Mickey and Joey's. And everybody who was anybody would go there. And I was watching this thing on, it, on much music, and everybody was pulling up in Harley Davidson's, and, and, and it was like, fuck. I, I, I was just so blown away by that. And then um, I got the book, the... Uh, the Vampire Lestat, and I was reading this book, and I was trying to figure out what exactly, if I ever got the chance to become a wrestler, because I was a hockey player and I was a musician, how can I mix these two together? And I read that book, and I was like, fuck, that's it. Then this band came on TV, Faster Pussycat. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and when, I saw, when I saw that video of Faster Pussycat, and this was before Guns N' Roses, um, I was like, that's the fucking look. And that's when Nikki Six started getting all these tattoos and, and, I, and I said, I, that's it. So me coming here today, and, and there was a reason for it, and I came in the bar and I, and I kind of got taken back and then I saw that Faster Pussycat is playing here and then I saw this, this underground promotion. It's kind of like, it's so strange in life how things kind of come full circle, right? When you least expect it. And one thing that hasn't changed in my 38 year career. That's what bothers me when somebody says you're a legend or when I see one of the guys in the dressing room believe that they are a legend. The thing that's never changed and it will never change is if it wasn't for you, the fans, 
none of us or none of this would exist. So people like me, when you say you're a legend and you should have all the time you want, no man. I'm so grateful and humble that you let me come up here and steal a little bit of your time. So I say from my heart, thank you for everything that you have done for us. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a cool thing. So um, about a month ago, I got promoted to director of talent and creative in AAA promotion in Mexico City, where I spent most of my career. Well, I won't clap. I was pretty fucking excited too until I realized I have to write and produce and edit and babysit and fucking listen to wrestlers whine and cry and fight with them. I was like, that's kind of not what I was hoping it would be. But it's what I do best. And um, now that I'm, 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 I've taken kind of control of the whole company and I'm doing everything. And uh, I hate it because I love it because it's what I do and I just, I, it's, I, I can't stand it because now I don't have a life and it's all I'm fucking doing is babysitting wrestling and it's working because it's in my heart. Then being that AAA and Lucha Underground are pretty much, you know, the same thing, um, I got promoted to the same position in Lucha Underground. So right now, uh, as far as creative, writing, directing, editing, promoting, talent hunting, all that shit. If you want to make it in any one of those two companies, I'm the guy you got to go through. Now, that's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure, because I don't want to be that fucking guy who says yes or no to anybody. So I've done what I'm not supposed to do, and I say yeah to everyone. And uh, in my book, every single person who comes to me gets a shot. If you fuck that shot up, that's on you. But if you come to me with faith and belief, and if I see it in your eyes that you really, really want it, then I'm gonna go the distance for you, by your side. And, and I'm loving it because I'm actually doing something for the first time in this business that I can say I'm proud of. I didn't like my career. Now hold on, man, I'm telling you a story. I'm not here for applause, brother. Although I do love it, thank you. Um, I didn't like my career as Vampiro because it happened for all the wrong reasons. And I didn't get to finish it the way I wanted to. I never got to say goodbye. I didn't get that one big match. I didn't get to say thank you. Because the politics of this business really, really are tough, man. Now that I'm in this position, it's the first time that I'm happy and it's the first time that I'm really, really doing something for this business and for the talent and for the fans. So in saying that, to finish this up, as of May 28th, Lee Pal Lee's Palace, you've been hearing about it, this, this thing, this Vampiro's underground invasion. Now, for political reasons, and that's the big one, because you don't want to be paying MGM the money, uh, can't really say it's Lucha Underground. Can't really say it's AAA, but fucking hell, the boss is right here in front of you. So, what I'm trying to say to you is, I have got people in Germany, I got promoters in Italy, I got a couple in Las Vegas, some in Los Angeles, and obviously home base is gonna be in Toronto and Leeds Palace, where the idea behind the Vampiro's invasion is anybody, anybody who wants a shot, I will be there, I'm gonna be involved in the matches, I'm gonna be helping do what I do best, which is produce and agent that shit, and we're gonna be shooting it, we're gonna be editing it, we got some plans for television, a lot of things are gonna be happening. So I, I really think that Toronto, where I kinda of grew up, deserves that. It doesn't have to be in Los Angeles, it doesn't have to be in Mexico City, it doesn't have to be in WrestleMania, it doesn't have to be anywhere else. Fucking Toronto and Lee's Palace is just as cool as any other place on the planet. So, yeah. So as of May 28th, what, I, what I'm really hoping to do is, is bring anybody and everybody together. And all of the local promoters who want to work on one show and partner up and let this family grow and appreciate what this really is and really get a chance at the big time. It's happening. It's a done deal. It's going to happen every month, maybe more, but it's a sure thing and it's starting May 28th in Lee's Palace. So, I'm hoping to see you. I'm hoping because I want to be there 
and I want to listen to you. I want you to approach me. Don't tell me any bullshit like oh, you should have beat Sting or what happened in TNA. I don't give a fuck about any of that. That doesn't matter. We're talking about you and those guys in the dressing room back there. So what needs to be done now is you all need to be given the due that you deserve for supporting us. So and in turn, the guy who is in charge of the other shows is coming to your backyard and is going to give you what you deserve because you supported us for so long. So it's just my way of saying thank you. And that's kind of what's up. Thank you. Okay, now the last thing. Uh, it's a tradition in, in wrestling or in any sport. When somebody passes away, we give them that moment of silence. In Mexico, in Lucha Libre, when somebody passes away, uh, we give them an applause for a minute. Um, the Familia Roldan uh, on Saturday night my, one of my best friends, Dorian Roldan, who is the vice president of AAA, his father, who is the general director of the company of AAA and one of the partners in Lucha, Ground, Lucha Underground, uh, passed away from cancer. And uh, we didn't really expect it to happen so soon. And in the Lucha Libre family, which is worldwide, we, we, lost, uh, we lost a brother. And um, he, uh, he, he was like a father figure to a lot of us. And um, I, I would really appreciate it if we can just honor that tradition, being that it is a Lucha-themed audience. Uh, pro wrestling is one big family. And if we could honor that person with a, a minute of applause, I would very much appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And I, I, I thank you for everybody. And, and please enjoy the rest of the, the, the show. You got some great talent coming out. And um, if I keep drinking them dark beards, I just might have to be hitting somebody with a chair myself.